ever found yourself in the middle of coding your angular application only to be overwhelmed by managing data that's constantly changing or coming in at unpredictable times maybe you are fetching user data handling real-time chat messages or waiting for user inputs all asynchronously hi there i'm Ayaz Zafar, and today we are going to tackle one of the most common challenges in modern web development with angular 17 managing asynchronous data streams effectively but we are not just going to manage them we are going to master them using a powerful feature known as observables with years of experience under my belt building complex applications using angular i have seen firsthand how observables can be a game changer take for example a recent project where we integrated real-time data feeds from multiple sources by leveraging observables we were not only able to streamline data management but also significantly enhance the user experience with instant updates and seamless data flow so what exactly are observables in a nutshell observables are a blueprint for creating streams for data that you can subscribe to in your angular applications they are part of rxjs library which integrates seamlessly with angular to provide a powerful toolkit for handling asynchronous operations throughout this tutorial we will dive deep into observables starting from the very basics of creating an observables it in real world scenarios whether you are fetching data from an api reacting to user inputs or handling multiple data streams simultaneously observables offer a concise and scalable way to manage it all by the end of this tutorial you will not only understand the ins and outs of observables in angular 17 but also how to apply them to solve complex data handling challenges in your applications ready to revolutionize the way you handle data let's dive in let's start with the basics observables are core part of rxjs which stands for reactive extensions for javascript unlike promises which represent a single future value observables are all about stream of values over time think of promises like one time deal you ask for data and it it either arrives successfully or it doesn't Observables, on the other hand, are like a subscription. Once you subscribe, you can receive multiple values, handle errors, and even cancel the subscription if you no longer need these values. RxJS plays a crucial role in Angular Observables. It provides the building blocks needed to create, compose, and consume asynchronous data streams. Whether you are dealing with HTTP requests, user inputs, our real-time data feeds, RxJS and Angular make a powerful duo for managing it all efficiently. Now that we have covered what observables are, let's set up our Angular environment. If you haven't already, you will need to install Angular CLI. This powerful tool allows us to create projects, add files and perform a vast array of development tasks with just a few commands. So open up your terminal and start by installing Angular CLI globally on your machine using npm you would have to type npm install dash g at angular slash cli and press enter once installed you can create a new angular project with the command ng new my observable dash project feel free to name it whatever you like i already have created it so i will not run it by the way if you want to watch a video how to install angular cli or how to install node.js how to upgrade versions i have recorded all kind of videos on my youtube channel just go there and find it and you can learn from there once you are done navigate to your project directory with the cd command and give it the project name and open it in your favorite editor i would be using vs code so it is already opened here now let's ensure rxjs is installed now we are set to dive into the world of observables remember setting up your environment correctly is the first step forward towards building powerful reactive applications with angular creating observables in angular is straightforward thanks to rxjs let's create a basic observable that emits a simple value first we need to import the observable class from rxjs so Let's go to the app.component.ts and on the top type the syntax import from rxjs. It is by default already installed with the latest version. So here observable 
okay and next let's create an observable that emits a single string we will do this inside the components ng or init method for demonstration purpose so first of all i need to implement the lifecycle hook on init and here i will implement the ng on init and here i will create a variable my observable is equal to new observable call it and then pass it a callback function this callback function would be re receiving the subscriber as its parameter we need to import the on init as well from the angular core okay great now inside our callback function i will use subscriber dot next hello observable and then i will use subscriber dot complete okay so here we are creating a new observable instance the constructor takes a function that has a subscriber object as its argument we use subscriber.next to emit a value and subscriber.complete to close the observable stream this pattern is incredibly powerful allowing you to emit multiple values over time handle errors and clean up resources now that we have our observ observable let's subscribe to it and see how we can listen to the emissions subscribing to an observable is done using subscribe method this method takes up to three arguments handler for the next value error and the completion let's add subscription to our ng on init method so below this definition i will use my observable dot subscribe and i have passed it an object that has three properties next error and complete and every property is taking a callback function and we can write our logic in those functions in this example we are logging the emitted value to the console with the console.log if there were error it would be logged with the console.error finally once the observable completes we log done to the console when you run this code you will see hello observable followed by done in your console so let me quickly show you go to the browser open the <coughs> inspect element go to the console you can see hello observable and done this demonstrates how observables can emit values and how we can react to these emissions errors and completions subscribing to observables is the key to utilizing their power in your angular applications whether it's user input http responses or any other asynchronous data observables give you a flexible way to handle it while observable open a world of possibilities there is an important aspect we must not overlook cleaning up unsubscribing from observables is crucial to prevent memory leaks especially in components that get destroyed and recreated often every time you subscribe to an observable you create a subscription if not properly handled these subscriptions can linger and cause memory leaks let's see how un how to unsubscribe correctly using the subscription object so in go back to your component on the top i will add a property subscription and give it a type subscription make sure to import it from rxjs and make it optional for now now in the ng on init whenever you start to subscribe to it you should save the response of this subscription in the subscription variable that we just defined like this okay so here we are storing the subscription in a property it's a common pattern that allows us to keep track of all active subscriptions next let's implement another lifecycle hook ng on destroy actually it is on destroy and now we need to implement it in our class ng on destroy and here i will use this dot subscription and you can unsubscribe to it in this way so by implementing the ng on destroy lifecycle hook we can call unsubscribe on our subscription when the component is destroyed this effectively prevents memory leaks by cleaning up the subscription remember managing subscription is a fundamental part of working with observables always ensure to unsubscribe when your components are destroyed let's put our observable knowledge to the test with a real world application we will fetch data from an api and display it in our angular app 
our component. First, we will create an observable that fetches data using HTTP client. Angular's HTTP client methods return observables, making them a perfect fit for our use case. So let's do that. As I'm using standalone component, so first of all, I need to import and uh, make the HTTP client available throughout my application. So for that, go to the app.config. Normally, if you are using modules, app module, you may have to import the HTTP client module in your app module. But in my case, in Angular 17, you just come here in the app.config and provide HTTP client in this way. Okay. So now go back in your component TS file and inject the HTTP client. And for that, I will define a property HTTP client is equal to use the inject function and give it the HTTP client service in this way so make sure to import the inject function from the angular core and now create a function fetch data and return this dot http client dot get and give it the <coughs> api endpoint that you want to use to get data and here i would also add pipe function in the end of that i will pass an operator map and make sure to import the map from the rxjs like this and i will call it and give it a callback function that will receive the response i will get the data from the response if there is a data in it okay so so here we are using the get method of http client to fetch data from our api we then use the map operator to transform the response, extracting the data we are interested in. Now let's go to the con uh, engine init on the top of it. I will do this. Let me get rid of all of this. We don't need it anymore. Okay, here I will add this dot fetch data dot subscribe as it is returning a, an observable. So I can subscribe to it, pass it a callback function with next error and complete functions in the next I will have to define a property any and now I need to pass the data from the response to the data property and for the error we are showing the error okay now go back to the HTML here I will display the JSON of the data property by using the JSON pipe okay uh, in the network let me look at the data structure actually there is no data property in my payload so i don't need to use this map so you can just get rid of that totally okay now you can see that we have the entire payload being displayed on the ui you can uh, filter here as well okay all right so in the component we have subscribed to the fetch data observable Upon receiving data, we store it in a property and log it to the console. In the real-time application, in real application, you would bind this data to your template to display it to the user. By leveraging observables for data fetching, we can easily handle asynchronous operations and update our UI in real time, providing a seamless experience for our users. Observables are incredibly powerful for dealing with asynchronous data, and Angular's interaction with RxJS makes it all the more efficient whether you are managing simple data streams or fetching complex data from apis observables have got you covered no matter how well we design our application encountering errors is inevitable but fear not observables come equipped with robust error handling mechanism let's enhance our data fetching observables with error handling capabilities the beauty of rxjs is its ability to gracefully handle errors and perform cleanup actions so here you can see we already are handling the error in this code the error callback is used to catch any errors that occur during the data fetching process this allows us to log the error or show a user friendly message with error handling in, in place our application becomes more resilient capable of handling unexpected situation without crashing we have covered a lot of ground today from understanding what observables are and how they differ from promises to setting up our angular environment creating and subscribing to observables managing subscriptions fetching data from apis and handling errors observables offer incredible power and flexibility for managing asynchronous data in angular applications they allow us to handle multiple values over time perform complex transformations retries and much more
I encourage you to practice what we have learned today by creating your own observables. Experiment with different scenarios, fetch data from various APIs and explore the vast ecosystem of RxJS operators. If you have found this tutorial helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel for more Angular tutorials and advanced topics. Don't hesitate to drop your questions or share your experiences in the comment section below. Your feedback is invaluable to us and helps shape future content. Remember, this channel is your go-to source for mastering Angular. Whether you are beginner or looking to refine your skills, we have got the resources to help you succeed. Be sure to check out our other tutorials for more insights and tips. Keep learning, keep coding and let's build amazing applications together. Until next time, happy coding. Embrace the power of observables and let them transform the way you develop applications in Angular. See you in the next tutorial. Thank you.